So today I'm going to show you how to record video games on Windows 10. Uh, this software actually works on earlier versions of Windows 2, and it works for a huge variety of games. Like, I have actually haven't really found any games that doesn't work recording. Um, it's using this great free software called uh, OBS, which is Open Broadcast Studio. And I have a previous video on how to install it and the basics of using it. So if you are having trouble with that, you can check out my other video. I'll link to it. But in this video, I'm just going to show you how to actually record games using it. So the first thing that we need to know is what settings we actually need to record a game in good quality. So I'm going to go off of the suggested YouTube ones, which I'll link to in the description as well. Um, but it, Twitch or something like that, if depending on who you're recording for, might have some different suggested settings. So you can go and Google whatever uh, you're specifically recording for. But in general, these are going to be pretty, uh, pretty good numbers to go by. So YouTube suggests using an MP4 file format, using the AACLC uh, audio codec, using the H.264 um, codec for actually making it into an MP4. Uh, the frame rate is dependent on what you have your computer set at. The bit rate is basically the quality of the file you're going to output. And um, then the resolution and aspect ratio are going to be set by whatever you have the game running at. So these are this is basically what information we'll need to uh, to set up the video for uh, nice high quality recording. So we can uh, enter all of this in OBS Studio by going to the settings right here, and then going to video. And first thing here is resolution. So in the resolution, this needs to be for beginning, it needs to be the same as whatever your game is. Uh, basically, if the resolution here is a lot higher or lower than your game, you're going to have some weird results, and it's something you might want in the future, like there's reasons to do it, but just to keep this video simple, uh, just to, you're going to want to put these at whatever uh, resolution your game is running at. So to check what resolution you have for your game, uh, just go into the video game and then go to the settings and go to video settings and there it'll have an option for setting the resolution. Whatever that is set at, then you can just put that number in here. So like it's probably going to be 1080 if you have a decent gaming computer. Uh, 4K would be a really high uh, end, which would be 3840 by 2160. And then a bit lower end would be 720p. Um, and then in the middle there's a 1440p as well. So there's a few different options it could be, but just set it to whatever your game is. So the next thing to do is set the actual recording settings. So if we go to the output here, and we change the mode from simple to advanced, and then we go to the recording tab, and change the type from standard to custom output, then we have all these options here for, uh, for the recording. So the first ones you can leave alone unless you want to change where to output the, uh, output the file, but the container format, we need to change that one to MP4, like the uh, like the YouTube settings suggest. So we'll set that to MP4, and then we don't really need to do anything here in the Muxer settings, and then we need to set the video bitrate. So the bit, bit rate is dependent on how quali high quality you want the file to be, and on what you're actually using as a resolution. So the higher the bit rate is, the higher quality your video will be, but the more space it will take up. So if you set this really high, it would take up a lot of space on your computer. So uh, generally there's some uh, there's a suggested right here of what you would want. So I'm recording in 1080p and uh, I actually have 60 hertz refresh rate here so uh, I'm gonna set it to 12 megabits per second. Um, if you were recording in 720p then you would want 5 p megabits per second if you're doing 30 uh, 30 frames per second or 7.5 if you're doing 60 frames per second. So you can basically just go by this uh, list right here and uh, set the video, the bit rate dependent on that. So like 2500 would be 2.5 megabits per second. I'm doing 1080p in 60 hertz, so I'm going to do 12 megabits per second. So I'm going to do 12,000 here. So then um, we can just hit uh, apply, um, or sorry, we still have to do the audio bit rate. So the audio, um, I'm going to record in stereo, uh, just because because that's basically all I need. I don't really have a super fancy mic, so uh, the audio bit rate, needs, need to set that to 384 kilobits per second. So just type in 384 there. And then they suggested we use the uh, AAC LC codec, I think by default, yeah. So by, you can just let it use the default encoder. So after you have all this set up, then you can just hit apply, okay. And now we need to actually select your 
game for recording. I already have Team Fortress 2 running in the background for this uh, video, so uh, basically the first thing to do is just get your game started and then Alt-Tab out of it so you're back to OBS Studio. So uh, then once you do that, then you right click in the sources and say add and choose the game capture option. So here you can just hit OK or you can name it something else, whatever, and leave it as uh, make source visible so it'll show up in this video so you can see what it's actually recording. Um, then you can leave this capture any full screen application checked and it will normally automatically find your game like it found Team Fortress 2 just fine but uh, if it's having trouble finding it then you'll need to uncheck this and then go to window and select the game here. So you can see that I have uh, Team Fortress 2 right here so I would just select that and then everything else uh, you can leave it just how it is. Um, you might want to uncheck capture cursor depending on if it's the type of game where you need to show the cursor or not. So, um, and depending, that might be the only one that you really have to change. But after you've selected the game, then you just hit OK. And then uh, it will show up here after you tab to the game and back. So I'm going to tab here. The video will go dark here for a second. Um, whoops. And then I'm going to I'll tab back. And it should show up in the window now. Yep, so now we have Team Fortress 2 showing up in here. And this is already like a live recording basically like that if I was doing anything in the game right now it would be showing up in this window right here. So at this point we have the game ready to be recorded um, and then the there's only another couple options that we really have to set um, before we hit start recording. So the next one would just be your microphone so depending on if this is like a voiced over let's play or if you just want to record the audio from the computer then you need to set up your uh, audio options here. So I'm recording from a microphone, that's why you see the green, uh, green arrow jumping around here. And But if you want to record from a different microphone, or if your audio wasn't showing up and you want it to, if you just hit the uh, settings option right here and go to properties, then you can actually choose what to record from. So if you had a microphone plugged in on your computer instead of like a USB one like me, then you would probably be choosing like this what you hear option where your motherboard is gonna have an audio input. So you can just select whatever you have from this list and then hit OK. And then the desktop audio option um, is basically whatever sound your computer is playing. So if you want to record the actual audio that the game is making, then you just leave this one on. If you don't want it to, you can right click and delete it. Uh, or I guess, I guess it doesn't allow you to delete it. Well, uh, you can just drag the audio all the way to zero if you, uh, if you don't want the audio from the game to show up. So then um, you're ready to record the game. So if you just hit uh, start recording right here, then uh, if you flip to the game, I'm not gonna flip here because it'll cause the screen to go black, but it'll record whatever you're doing in the game. And then as soon as you hit stop recording, then uh, you're finished. And if you go to the file option up here and then go to show recordings, you'll see that your recording popped up right here. So I'll right click on this and show you what it actually recorded. So you can see that it's the uh, it's just what the game was doing, which is basically just sitting there during that time. But if you had been uh, playing the game, it would have actually recorded exactly what you were doing. Then uh, pretty much at this point, you're good to go. But I'm going to explain another couple options uh, for people that might be a little more uh, that want to do a couple more things. So uh, one thing that's really popular is adding a camera recording. Uh, like in the bottom left corner, a lot of Let's Play people do that. It's really easy to add on here, so if you just right click in your sources, uh, then you just need to go to add, and you select video capture device and set up your uh, video camera. I'm gonna do this with the uh, display capture instead because I don't have a uh, video camera set up on this one, So, but it works the same way that you just need to go here and select your video camera basically. So I'm gonna go to display capture here and hit OK, and then just hit OK here, and you'll see by default it just completely covers the game capture, and that's because it's higher up in the list. So if I move it down one, you'll see that only the game shows up, but we want to make it so that it just shows up in the corner, uh, so it's recording our video while it's recording the game. So instead, uh, what we do is we can put this one as a higher priority because we want it on top of the game, so we move it up the list, and then we uh, just drag it to be resized. So you just click in the little red corner up here and you shrink it down to the corner however big you want 
and then you have the game recording while you have the video recording. And then you can set up your audio settings here too, depending on if that microphone is uh, different or the same as what you were recording before. Uh, other than that, there's plenty of more advanced options that you can find in here, but this is the basics for what everyone would want to do for a uh, for recording a video game.